That's not bad. Not bad. Don't see Hawkins having a problem going cushion first, though. Six and a half minutes since he potted the blue. Well directed, but again, it won't be a problem for Barry. <laughs> yes, and it's 14 minutes coming up since Barry Hawkins actually potted what was frame ball. So since then, this is has been the state of things. Well, this time he's got a, actually a direct shot at a pot. I'm not saying it will go in, but he might play it slowly as well. But uh, this is a chance to finish off the frame at least. <coughs> not to be. He's having to just keep his concentration as well because the likelihood is we'll have a decider. He has to be fully focused for. Saying earlier on that I think his best chance is that the, it's actually not the pink that knocks the black in, but the cue ball after hitting the pink. Now, all I'll say here is that he should get that cue ball right down the other end of the table, which kind of just makes the next shot of Barry's a little edgy. But even then, you wouldn't expect him to create a foul here. phrase after the Lord Mayor's show this is sort of before the Lord Mayor's show really we're just waiting we think for a deciding frame which will be full of excitement but how long is it going to take us to get there this frame now nearly 56 minutes long as King plays on Well, this is a brilliant shot. What a brilliant shot that is. Fantastic. Well, that was almost the dream shot I was speaking about. I don't think, once again, that he will knock this in. But what he might do is just drop up to it again. Uh, there was a shot somewhere in the book that would make this quite difficult for Barry. This is the biggest threat so far, this one. Yeah, if the black goes in, remember, then Mark King can tie and it could force a respot. The other thing he's worried about, if he drops up to the pink really slowly, then the next shot could be almost impossible not to knock the black in. Oh, 
that's what I mean. Now then, the next shot is very interesting. Cue ball over near the left-hand corner pocket. Then what does Barry Hawkins do? Now that's precisely my point. Now, he's in big, big trouble. Well, it just shows you, I mean, Mark King has been going here over 11 minutes to get into exactly this position. He's doggedly stuck to his task and he's put Barry Hawkins bang under it. Well, it's an extraordinary game, isn't it, Snooker? I mean, you just when you think you've seen everything that can happen. And this week there have been a few things, but this is just a... Something else, isn't it? He's going to try and go cushion first to hit an edge of the ping. I guess if he misses it, then the miss is called. And it's not called, is it? That's the whole point. Oh. Well, that was a foul. That was seven away. He's hit the black. He's hit the black. He's seven. And Mark King can now tie. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Oh. Pink and black, here Foul we see seven. it again, pink and black, and it's a respot. just catches the black. Yeah, 100% a foul, a correct call from Terry Camilleri. Well, well, well. Six. Can you believe this, Dave? Incredible. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Mark King, every credit to him. He battled away there for nearly 15 minutes. And the black comes back on the table to see whether we're going to a decider or whether it's Mark King who's the winner of this tournament. Well, Terry Camilleri is going to have a coin toss. Your choice. Your break. And Mark King has won it and he's putting Barry Hawkins in. So the down, please. Thank you. Well, most of the time it's cushion to cushion, left to right on these shots. And he's played it well, but with the black just slightly above the cue ball. It could be a double to the left middle for Mark King to win his first ranking event after 25 years and an hour this frame. Of course, the other thing is if he, he could actually treble this if he's not entirely thinking about the, the possibility of the double he could if he goes short of the middle bag it could go in the right middle but the tension is unbelievable yes it's not just about this match it's not just about this week it's about the last 25 years that's how long he's been a professional just think of all the knocks all the disappointments he's had all the long drives home when he's been beaten low down feeling sometimes like packing it in It'll all be worth it, I can assure you, all of it, if he can knock this black in. But it's not in, and Barry Hawkins needs it to force a decider. The most intense drama here in Belfast this evening and it's going to continue if this black goes in. Yeah! What an incredible frame of snooker that was, and it's gone after all of that, after all of that, to Barry Hawkins on a respotted black. So the whole week is going to come down to one more frame. A wince from Mark King as he leaves the arena. We're level at eight frames all. Well, he can pot it. It's a quite an acute angle. He'll drag it slowly. And he's got it. Now he can celebrate. 
25 years a professional. It's been a long, hard yeah. slog. But he is about to get his hands on his first ranking trophy. And my word, he's done it the hard way. And he deserves to celebrate. His family are here. They're going to have a great night. There were some tears, I can tell you, in his eyes. It means the world to him. It means everything to him. Mark King is the champion in Belfast. One of the most dramatic finals you will ever see. And it's Mark King at the age of 42 who beats Barry Hawkins 9-8 to win the Northern Ireland Open.